and 20 centimeter diameter and can contain 40 kilograms of soil. We have two factors in this experiment. The first factor is the cropping system. We have two cropping systems in our um, experiment. We have maize monocropping alone. I've sown uh, three seeds in each pot. And intercropping of maize and soybean together in one pot. The second factor is fertilization. The first one is no fertilizer. The second one is uh, mineral fertilizer. The third one is biogas residues. And the fourth one is biogas residues with uh, mineral fertilizer. Um, we have four replications. So uh, this experiment will contain 32 pots. We have here uh, maize monoculture, maize alone, and maize uh, intercrop maize with soybean, and then uh, without uh, nitrogen uh, or without the mineral, and then with uh, on, only with mineral, and then with biogas uh, residues, uh, and then uh, mineral with uh, biogas residues, and we have replicated the treatments four times. In order to irrigate, we should uh, monitor the uh, soil water content using the TDR 300. Uh, it's very accurate and we could um, calculate uh, the uh, irrigation water requirements very uh, accurately. Uh, the leaching water was collected regularly in this um, lower part, lower uh, black part. We've collected them. And we have taken also soil samples in three depths from uh, 0 to 30, from uh, 30 to 60, and from 60 to 90 centimeters. Uh, by means of uh, thin uh, auger. Yeah, uh, and then we have uh, taken the digestions of soil samples to determine the mineral nitrogen. Um, and then we have uh, 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 we have determined the uh, uh, nitrate and uh, leaching water um, according to the Methoden Handbuch. We have measured also the, uh, the chlorophyll according to the um, N content in the uh, leaves. Uh, we have also measured the height of maize uh, in different growth stages, and the, the amount of leached water, and the total plant weight. And um, then we have made the statistic, statistical analysis. Um, yeah, the high of plant maize, uh, we have uh, measured in different uh, growth stages. And also the end test we've taken also in different growth stages. Um, the amount of leaching water we've taken also uh, after each irrigation. The fresh and dry weight of maize and soybean uh, we've measured also in the labra laboratory after shredding the, um, the plants and then we have weighted them and then dried them in the oven and then uh, weighted them um, again. Yeah, and uh, fresh and dry weight of maize and soybean we have 
um, we've uh, measured, as I have said, in the laboratory, at first for the maize and then for the soybean, and then for both of them. Yeah, uh, and then we have uh, studied the significance of um, our of the means of the treatments. Uh, at first, the height of of maize plants. Um, yeah, there were no significant differences between the treatments um, of uh, nitrogen with intercrop and nitrogen. Uh, and biogas residues in uh, intercrop, and also between nitrogen with monocrop and uh, biogas residues in intercrop. Um, yeah, and uh, in the other treatment, yeah, we have noticed also that there were no significant differences and uh, and the dry matter with uh, dry matter uh, percentage of maize and soybean we have noticed also that there were no uh, significant differences between the means of the treatments but the amount of leached water we have noticed that there were um, significant differences between the means of the treatments. Yeah, we can summarize that in the following. In the uh, intercropping system, there were no significant decrease, decrease, uh, decrease uh, in height of the plants, level uh, of chlorophyll content, and dry matter weight. Uh, and also in the intercropping system and the use of biogas fermentations, um, we've noticed that um, significant difference, uh, significant redu reduction in the amount of leaching water. From those results, we have concluded that the intercropping system and biogas fermentation are reduced uh, uh, yeah enhanced the soil fertility of sandy soil through uh, nitrogen fixation and improved water holding capacity um, that means the amount of leaching water and nitrogen entry into the groundwater were reduced. And that's what we are looking for. Yeah, uh, that's why I recommend using intercropping system with the use of fermentation residues to uh, increase the nitrogen use uh, efficiency and to reduce the uh, groundwater uh, pollution. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was an excellent presentation that you have made. And I think that people are getting the benefits that how you are working in your laboratory, how uh, the works are going on in the Germany, they have come to